Hello, this is Skate Mode. This is Ark. This is Blue High Wind. And this is Yun Chai San. And welcome to part three of Final Fantasy Adventure. Here we are going through a, a wonderful minecart section, because every game needs one of these. Yeah, it's pretty Zelda. For at least Game Boy Zelda, they always had Minecraft sections. They're very confusing. Is this very confusing? No, you just need to hit that switch yeah. and then hit that switch. Yeah, that looks done. like it. And you're done. You that's gotta it. hit the switches. That's it. That's it. What happens if you don't hit the switches? You loop around until you go mad. Uh, oh, you're. Oh, I oh. Think you might actually fall down into bottomless pits and so on. Yeah, that looked like something you didn't want to do. Yeah. Hey, a dwarf. Yeah. That section's actually really difficult. This is. Oh yeah, you were saying. It, well, if this is built by someone, it seems an inconvenient way that every time you reach your destination, you destroy your minecart and fall down painfully. It's to support uh, the mine. It's the year 1983. It's to support the minecart and the factoring industry. Oh, that's your money. 1983 mm, interesting monies. Interesting version of planned obsolescence. You can buy Moogles in a bottle. Moogles in a bottle. Yep. Moogles Are they in alcoholic? A Bonsai. Okay. Uh, there's. Oh, there is a Ghastly, and there's a, uh, Venonat. No, that's you, actually a Kakuna, sorry. If you say so. It looks more like a... Or, um, a Mimic, and a... Little... A Kabuto? Bug thing, bug thing. I guess, yes, it's a Kabuto. Yeah, Ghastly and Kabuto, there we go. Have you been keeping up the, uh, trend of naming them all after Pokemon? Nope. Because that's Pachirisu right there. Is that even a Pokemon? Yes. I haven't played a single game after the third generation. Uh, it was a fourth generation mouse Pokemon. Wasn't Pikachu already a mouse Pokemon? Yeah, but that one looks more like Pachirisu to me. So and now all the Pokemon fanboys are gonna be like, you totally mispronounced that. So anyway... I don't care. Zelda puzzles. It's basically... We're using more of our Matox to get through. Are those supposed to be spider things? Yeah. Yeah. Spiders have eight Spider legs. Spider Pokemon. Four. There's the Aran Pack guy. Or whatever his name is. I don't remember. I don't know how to pronounce it. Spinarak. Spinarak. That's him. So anyway, we leveled up. And Yay! Our little party member here is kind of useless because he's a shop. And he still charges you even though you're in the dungeon. He's a jerk. And he throws axes. Capitalism which is more useful. Even you're protecting him. Yeah. He throws axes randomly like every single party member. But they move slowly Wait, enough that enemies... if he's a party member, why is he charging you? Capitalism at work. <laughs> yeah. He's a mercenary. Oh, okay. He's complete Where'd faith in success. Where'd you find this guy? He just, we just found him in the cave. Oh. He, he's a dwarf buddy. We're gonna have a great sitcom Can together. you throw him? No. Nobody throws a dwarf? No, that was banned. Oh, man. We didn't talk about the incident that caused it to be banned. No, that's from the unrated version of Final Fantasy Adventure. Oh, ooh. I think that was probably Japan only, right? Yeah, it was Final Fantasy Adventure Ultimania, or whatever. Now we fight the Mold Worm. Ooh, what? why are you changing music? Oh, yeah, Mold Worm. <laughs> <laughs> or to keep up the Pokemon theories, this is a Onyx. This just reminds me of Snake. I'm thinking that little snake. <laughs> Arbok? Ekans. Ekans? Which is snake backwards. Then you know the and Arbok the is Cobra game. backwards. Yeah, this just reminds me of the little game that you used to get on cell phones like 10 years ago. Yes, yeah, Snake! I love that game! That's the best. You can <laughs> yeah. get it on YouTube, secretly. Oh yeah, they do. Or at least you could a few years ago. If you like, if you paused in just the right way, you can go and play Snake with the uh, pause things. It's, you fiddle around with the directional buttons or something. I don't remember what it is. But anyway, this is this is the Moldorm. I think he has an actual name. I think it's just a centipede. But it's basically the Moldorm from uh, Link to the Past and uh, Link's Awakening. I think he was in that one. He might have been yeah, a form of the final boss. I don't yeah, remember. Yeah, he was a form of the final boss. But this game was released before Link's Awakening, so ha, huh, take that. But Link's Awakening is so much better. And you're uh, swinging your whip like Simon Belmont. Yeah, you missed the last episode where we fought a vampire with the whip. Oh my god, I missed the Castlevania episode? Yeah, you missed the Castlevania episode and the Christopher Lee episode. Christopher Lee turns into a vampire and you fight him. as a vampire with a whip. 
<laughs> Blue, weren't you in two episodes of this and you still managed to miss it? I, I was in the first and the third, which is this one. Is it the third one? I think. Search deep. No, thank you. This is the third episode. Hi. Hello, viewers. I guess it is. We know what we're doing, really. Today, we're Did counting you? with oh. the Final Fantasy wiki. Do you know the three reasons for Count with the Final Fantasy wiki. One episode, two episode, three episode. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Now you just sound like the Count from Sesame Street. I think that was, was the that intention. episode. Ma, ha, ha. <laughs> Meanwhile, My this guy has a lot of health. Yeah, this just keeps on going. <laughs> This His pattern doesn't change, either. Unlike some of the other bosses, this guy doesn't even do very much- Oh! A party member killed him. Wow! Apparently does that mean you don't get his soap because he devolved into bubbles? He's, he's a bubbly person. Oh. A bubbly personality? Yeah. Bubbles! Bubble, 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 so bubble, 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 Yes, it was the first no, one ever. Wa no, it was Watts the Dwarf, clearly. And the first one was actually Red Mage. No, yeah, it's good that it's a centipede. That way we can feel good about beating the bubbly girl up, which is what we want to do every single game. Okay, that's a Moblin right there, but he needs to be a Pokemon reference, so I'm going to call him Kangaskhan. I'm sure there was a pig Pokemon. There was a fire pig. Pig thing. Pokemon? There was oh, a fire pig. Um, is this game basically oh, just destroying the environment? Yes, or this game evolutions? hates the environment. I don't know what they are. What's Tepig's evolutions? I have no idea. I, I picked played. Snivy, so I don't really know. I haven't played the game. But anyway, yes, this game hates the environment. Beedrills! Not the Beedrills! Ah! Ah! What is that? Killing me will bring back your fucking honey! <laughs> Meanwhile... Uh, Crabbies. The crabs throw their claws at you. This is mystifying. That looks more like a frog to me, honestly, with a rather hilarious expression. Alright, if it's a frog, then it's a war turtle. No, wait, that was a turtle. Ugh. That was, a uh, um, Polyrath. Oh, okay. The cave just spat us out. Yeah, apparently some caves are not meant to be gone in. <laughs> They're very vocal. So this game has Mother strange frogs that throw crab claws and pigs that cough up forks? Okay. Uh, they're throwing a uh, pitch axe or something. Hey, hello, I remember you! This is a different dwarf. What? It's a different guy. The hey, I remember you! They don't all look the same, come on. Dwarves have their oh, own what person. Are you, are you telling me that one's not the same dwarf? No, that's the same dwarf. But you can get all oh, the... Oh, you've got the silver and then you have to buy everything off Yeah, he's, he's, a, he's a capitalist pig. What a jerk. Hey, we already got through the communist section of this Let's Play. Yep. The hammer and sickle version? Yeah. I assume no jokes were made at all in the second episode, because I can't call back to any of them. Well, because he went there. Well, that's why I assume that. The Silver Sword is actually a really good weapon, because it allows you to... You can hit p enemies that are immune to normal physical attacks, for some reason. And then again, on second thought, it's hard to say that anything I'm saying is really a joke. Whoa! Oh, yeah. There was a max attack. Do that again! Whoa, whoa, that was that was really cool. No. But you, you I demand you keep doing that. I will continue to do it. What that's, was it? That's this when the burr fills up the bottom, that's one of the max attacks of the sword. It's the super oh. attack. It, it, the only problem is it takes like three damn minutes to fill up. As you level up, like at the very end of the game the burr fills up almost instantly. Huh. So you become awesome. And here's the second one. Is that a land Whoa. Or something? That's uh that's the ultimate spin attack. Yeah, and you can just keep doing it. And and it takes You don't it, get dizzy at the end either. No. So you can, like, plow through enemies that that way. That's my favorite of the max attacks, because you can just... <laughs> you can just hold down the button and go through all the enemies. 
Man, those Gastlys, they don't got a chance. Nope. It's a little difficult to tell where the enemies are when they're bouncing around like that. Yeah, that's kind of... It's not actually 3D, because if they're in the air, you can still hit them when you're on the ground. It's very weird, when you think about it. So, so actually they're just rolling around the ground rather than jumping in the air. Yeah. These well, guys I mean, chance. could the Game Boy do the third dimension? I'm sure. I'm sure there's some 3D Game Boy game. I'm sure it's terrible. Oh, it's a Bogart. Hey, it's uh, Humphrey Bogart. And he's gonna go join the party now. Cool. This is the best Final Fantasy ever. You have Humphrey Bogart with you. Yeah. Well, I mean, we you missed the time when we fucked with... We had J. Edgar Hoover yep, in sorry. Final Fantasy VI. No, that was Adelaide Stevenson. No, we had Edgar yeah. Hoover as well. You noticed a distinct similarity Oops. between him and one of the worms. Whoa, those... Oops. The, the werewolves, werewolves killed, killed you. The uh, wolves. wolf Pokemon. And uh, then... Wolf Pokemon, uh, damn it. Um... Uh, blanking right just now. Just distracting you from the fact that Scaife died. Yeah, I'm just not gonna mention anything. Uh, who are those dark hound dooms? Hound dooms. That's what, that's what they are. Bogard, as opposed to all the other enemy uh, party members, he's completely useless because he uses a short range attack, meaning he's never gonna hit anything ever. But he does have that fabulous old Hollywood personality. Yeah, he does. <laughs> can you really put that in words? I mean, can you put a price on that? He only really goes into true true attack mode when he when he fights off against Clark Gable later in this episode. Wow. Any Rita Hayworth in this? She makes a cameo. Oh, Gyarados. Now the fish is spitting forks at you. Gyarados, and that's a uh, um, sand slash. There's some terrible dietary problems in the Final Fantasy Adventure world. Oh, look, it's Oddish! I love Oddish! Oddish also fires angry words at you. For some reason. Baby. You didn't break and enter into that little hut. I'm disappointed this is breaking the true Zelda spirit. It's just, I think it's just an NPC. It's not... But maybe that NPC is a thing. It's not Zelda unless you break into everything and steal everything. You must go into every cave. <laughs> and to break all the pots. Yes. They just come back. Kill all the chickens. Cuckoos. No, don't attack the cuckoos. That's very bad. There, broken into this guy's house. We didn't break into this guy's house. You walked into his shop. And then he danced for you. I made him dance. You can buy keys? Yeah. And matlocks? Yeah. Well, technically you could buy keys in the original Zelda game. I only played that once. Oh, darkness. It actually doesn't do anything at all. It doesn't... But it makes the screen all funky. It makes you feel like yeah. you're playing Pac-Man. I think that was effective in the original Game Boy version, where you could barely see the screen already, so when it went dark like that, you'd be completely blind. Yeah, that, that actually makes sense, now that, think of, now that you think about it. That reminds me of when I was playing Pokemon. Not that everything doesn't, but, um... Yeah, remember obviously. Remember the dark tunnel? Yeah. The rock tunnel between, uh... That took you to Violet Town or whatever? Yeah. The town of dead people. Mahogany Town. No, it's... it's so anyway... No, it's Lavender. Lavender is the dead people. Lavender Town. Yeah, yeah, there you go. So, uh, me and my cousin, we were playing that, we were completely lost. We just could not get through. So it's like, we could either go and find HM5 Flash... Or we didn't know about that, so instead we put it on the super the super Game Boy. Yeah, you killed Lakitu. Yeah, I killed Lakitu. Oh, Lakitu. Oh, he's not a Pokemon. There's no air. Oh, it's one of those evolu. It's one of those uh, legendary Pokemon's in Gen Five that are on the things. Thunderous, we'll call him. So anyway, back to my Pokemon story. We just used the Super Game Boy to get through the Rock Tunnel. Way better. <laughs> you interrupted and your Pokemon story with more, po more Pokemon. Yes. Uh, are you gonna hook shot across? Yeah, I gotta wait until it fills up, otherwise I, my link, my shot isn't long enough. That's, uh, that's the worst hook shot ever. I'm very disappointed. Also, I love the fire's okay. pathfinding. That's awesome. Hook shots are usually my favorite weapon in all of Zelda, too. Hook shot's okay in this game. It was pretty cool in, uh, Mystic Quest. 
<laughs> Except for yeah. how everything else was not cool in that game. Wait, you said something was cool? What's a long review? I like hook shots. It's more of a whip, I guess. Best thing about Mystic Quest ever. Alright, so, Land of the Pirates. Now we're in the airship. Oh, this is an... Oh, alright. Because this is a airship full of moblins. Please, they're, uh... Pigmas. No. Pig knights. So, in this game, we are actually sky pirates. I mean, we just went to an airship and took over it. Yep. Are you gonna kill that guy? No, he's 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 my friend. And do you oh, have to okay. pretend to be the propeller with that sword trick? Yes. Wait a second, if he was your friend, why didn't you introduce us? It's like so awkward, man. You just need when to your friend out, you... walks in with somebody and he never introduces you to them, and it's like, well, what are, are we gonna talk now, or what? You just, you need, you just need to feel the conversation, that's all. I can't feel the conversation, I'm an internet persona. I'm very bad huh. at conversations. <laughs> Your true form has been revealed. Yep. We long suspected. These guys... These guys suck, they all do right. so much damage, and they turn you into Moogles. I Pokemons... Um... Whatever, I'll just call it Jinx. There was an I Pokemon. I'll just call him Jinx. I got an ether. 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 Hmm. Ether. Good for spicing up those dates that aren't working right. Oh wait, no. Yeah, actually, don't do that. No, please don't. Yeah, bad, bad advice actually. Let's burn some ghosts. Oh, don't burn the Gengars. See, he's not, that, that guy's not my friend. This game has a decent array of enemies. This game has so many enemies, like, and then I died. Oh. Oh dear. That friggin' you jinx. Got killed by the giant eye. Yeah, I, I was killed by one of those. What are those? The eye statues from the Bemos. Sir Bemos. Hey, why aren't you saving every five steps? Yeah, and really. Because that's boring. You need a sense of challenge. Also, if you get stuck after saving at a low level, you might just be stuck forever, and you won't be able to get through. That's true too. But this game... Let me save you from the nightmare. This game just, like, you don't actually really need to grind in this game unless this game unless it forces you to buy something that's really expensive. <sighs> Excuse me. Oop, Not I a commentary on the... Oh! I oh! And I died as a Moogle. You died again. I died as a Moogle. What?! If you die as a Moogle, do you die in real life? That's, that's a good death. Yeah. I'd like to see the sort of net hack st style epitaph for that. <laughs> died due to becoming a moogle. You have died as a moogle, thus you have died as yourself. <laughs> Your true form has so, been revealed. So, when you're a moogle, what does that do? Uh, you can't attack and all your stats are reduced to one. So you die, basically. That... that sucks. I figured moogle form would be the ultimate form. No, not really. Uh, the people who made this game are idiots. Obviously. Moogles will wreck this thing, alright? That's what I want to see in Final Fantasy... Well, let's make it 15. Final Fantasy 15. I think Moogle should... <laughs> I think Moogle should come with the side effect that nothing can attack you because you're too cute. Well, they can attack you, you'll just counterattack with ridiculous pyrotechnic effects. Be like an Omni-Slash every single time. Oh, there, I did it again for you. There we the go. Sl slash right. thing. By the way, no more. if you're listening, Moogles, Final Fantasy 15, do it. That's the I don't twist care at how the very based end. on reality it is. Noctis Moogles. is a Moogle. That would work. Noctis's little sister is a Moogle. She's adopted, but he I loves think her it anyway. Be the ultimate punishment of the Empire, you get transformed into a Moogle. I'm talking, you mean the ultimate benefit? All right, Noctowl and uh, Pumpkin Pokemon. Jumping, um, jumping Pokemon. Pumpkin what? Pokemon. The pumpkins. The pumpkins. What's a pumpkin Pokemon. I'm I sure got there's nothing on that I'm one. Sure there's I'm gonna a call pumpkin. them Mewtwo. I'm sure there's a pumpkin Pokemon. There's not a pumpkin Pokemon. I fired sheep at them. Now they will feel my wrath. How yeah, I'll just you. call them Mewtwo. <laughs> I'm such a fiend. This game is the entire kitchen sink, isn't it? It's just... It's a feast! What animals can we think of with the kitchen? A pumpkin is an animal? Well, according to Google, a pumpkin's an animal. It is? 
according yeah. to Duke, Did you edit Duke, the Wikipedia free. page? According to New Jersey, tomatoes are a vegetable. According to Congress, pizza is as well, if I remember correctly. Yeah. So is pizza. Supreme Court had an... Oh, fruit... I mean... Uh, no, no, no. Uh, according to Congress, fries are a vegetable. A lot of things are vegetable. Even things that aren't vegetables. Yeah, I... I Congress sucks. Let's just put that out there. I don't think that's a controversial view. No. I was watching a White House down and Congress burns down at the beginning of it, and I was wondering, like, is anybody going to complain about this turn of events? Why are there spikes in the airship? Because it looks cool. Uh-huh. Uh, whoa, I didn't even get to name this that This is one. your style of interior decoration, isn't it? Maybe? That was the- that was the pirate. It was- it was the, the zombie pirate. pirate. Zombie pirate. Zombie pirates. And there was only pirate. one? Only one. The only one zombie pirate. What does slep mean? Is it supposed to be sleep yeah, or...? Yeah, it's sleep. Is it then? We put... I thought so your companion is named Slepnir. We hey, put... there's Fujiko! We put people to slep in this game. Alright, that I'm... noise, uh... Yeah, that's getting annoying. What noise? That noise. He's going to betray us, isn't he? Yeah. Alright, now, now it's stopped. No, he's not, actually. But this is actually the Werewolf Hotel. <laughs> Come to the <laughs> Werewolf Hotel, the <laughs> finest establishment in all of Transylvania. Sleep sleep might be the worst spell ever, because it, they still attack you even when they're asleep. It doesn't make any sense. What? <laughs> they just stay I still. Think the... One problem with the Werewolf Hotel is they have a deep rivalry with Dracula's Mansion. We already went and cleared which out is Dracula's also a Mansion hotel. before. So the Werewolf Hotel mm. it was unparalleled until now, and then we killed them all. Well, the problem is Dracula's Mansion used to be the finest establishment in Transylvania, then the Werewolf Hotel opened, and they've just been enemies ever since. But now the Werewolf Hotel is actually quite nasty. Staff, as we appear to have killed them all. <laughs> Happens to the best uh, of us. At least they'll still get good ratings for facilities. Just the service leaves something to be desired. Huh. Fire spells for low maintenance. And so huh. now we head back. And the jumping pumpkin says hello again. Knock towel and Mewtwo. Like owl. Ride the owl it's skate mode. Endearingly surprised. <laughs> yeah. Scathe, ride the owl. Pots, can you break the pots? You can, but you need to use a pickaxe, because... They're really hard pots. They're stone pots. Oh, Obsidian so pots. Julius is actually the Dark Lord's son? I read the text. Was, that a, was I not supposed to do that? No, you, you can read the text if you want. Okay, let me name the zombie zombies. Cards. Um... Zombie Pokemon. Not many of them. They exist. I'm sure. I'll call him Butterfree. Sure, why not? Yeah. I'm right, sure by Generation 6, all these holes will be filled up. There'll be Werewolf Pokemon, there'll be Zombie Pokemon, there'll be Pumpkin Pokemon. So, then I'll look like an idiot for not immediately thinking of them. It's gonna be all the fruits and vegetable Pokemon that we've been missing. Yeah, the carrot Pokemon. Zucchini the Pokemon. Mango Pokemon. The ugly fruit Pokemon. The human Pokemon. There needs to be at least one of them. The evil gherkin Pokemon. <laughs> the Chocobo Pokemon. His name's Chocobo. They just start plagiarizing. They can start running. <laughs> no, it's a deal with Square Enix. They're gonna have a Chocobo in there. And the slime. Well, if it's Nintendo wishes they had this much If it's a deal with Square, surely that means we're going to see a lightning Pokemon before long. Oh, you shut your face. <laughs> there are plenty of lightning Pokemon. No, that's Thunder. Thundergar? Oh, isn't it Thunder? T no, it's Electric Pokemon. Yeah, it actually is Electric. Spin attack! attack. Mouse violence. Are you lost? Oh, Jesus. Oh, this is, oh man. This is a werewolf <laughs> that, party. Oh, man. 
They've come for revenge. You went to the you went to Dracula's mansion instead of the Werewolf Hotel, didn't you? Yeah, I did. Oh man, Scathe. <laughs> didn't you go and read the travel guide to Transylvania? You gotta always go to the Werewolf Hotel. The revenge because and of have you. garlic around your neck. Because of you, we've fallen down five places on TripAdvisor. Julius, give me the pen. Oh, alright. There he is. Oh, oh. Oh, well. Yep. And then oh, you die. No! Like, Seems like a bad idea to set fire to a wooden airship. I don't think Julius likes Fuji cakes very much. That person was incredibly not surprised. I think this is the beginning of the sword in the stone. I imagine that read in a wonderful monotone. Seen it. How is it? Amanda. She was approximately in the game for three seconds as an optional NPC you can talk to at the very beginning of the game. Oh. You fell through the roof. I'm glad to see you again. Good thing you landed You're right hot. on the bed. Oh. Oh. Pendant! He just speaks in one word sentences. RAGE! He's actually Fujin. So, I think he's had a concussion. Someone better check for an epidural or human terminal. He's actually dead after that fall, and the rest of the game is actually his dream in hell. This is my theory, uh, Sumo is dead. Final Fantasy Adventure. <laughs> Wait, Julius was Sumo's mother? What? With the, this guy's animations, I'm going to assume that he's actually raising money so he can practice and become a famous dancer one day. We're just selling off the, the crystals, by the way. We don't need those. Wait, don't you need the, the crystals? Now, They're important. No, we can sell the crystals. But the crystals are the lifeblood of the entire universe. No, they, they represent the symbols of Final Fantasy. Nope, they sell for 500 gil. Capitalism, yeah. Fabula Novus Crystallis, dude. Nope, that stuff's getting sold. Alright, that sucked anyway, so don't worry. So we bought the Wind Spear. So, do we conclude that Final Fantasy Adventure is actually propaganda by Ayn Rand? Yes, it is. Well, yes. Wait, definitely. what? This is the capitalism Final Fantasy. It's objectivist propaganda. I've... Ayn Rand was on the advisory board. At what point was she... This game about hating, um... You know, being a good person and giving away stuff. What, what part of this game has been against well, altruism? Everyone's a capitalist. Yep, yeah, everyone's a capitalist. Oh. Yeah, but so I don't see people running away and building their own society in a valley while all of society gets run by insane communist plutocrats. It's in the the manual. Oh, really? And this yeah. whole time you've been building well, a railroad, right? This is why right? we've regressed to a medieval society. It's like the aftermath. Oh, okay. You know what we, you should do? You should build an underground city. Oh, actually, underwater. Even better. And then you can call it Bioshock 1. 1? Are we expecting sequels? We're expecting at least 5. But only 2 have come out so far. But one of them is infinite. So wouldn't that one be more be... than 5? So that's it goes 1 to infinity. There's going to be as many games in between 2 and infinity as can fill up. What we're saying is that the series is going to go on for a long time. Yes. As for Final Fantasy, however, it will end after 19. 